October the 17th, the 17th day of Vlogtober. Today is going to be another quick and dirty video and it's just going to go through what I eat in a day, everything that goes in my mouth on a 1940s World War II ration book diet. Um, and this morning it's going to start with porridge, but a different type of porridge this morning. It's going to be pinwheel oatmeal. I found a bag that had expired several months ago. I need to use it up, it's quite a lot of it. So um, let's go. Hello! <laughs> I've just got in for my lunch, so I have half hour lunch break. So I've quickly got to fry some vegetables up and I'm going to have them on toast for my lunch. A bit of cabbage, some onion, some celery, and I've got some mushrooms here. So I'm going to cut those up, bung them in a frying pan, and um, basically go upstairs to my office in my bedroom and work while I'm eating. <laughs> I've added Marmite just to add a bit of flavour to the stir fry, which I'm going to do and I'm going to put on top of toast for my lunch. There we are. That's got to be shared between each slice of toast. Oh, it just, it'll be just too much of a poor man's meal if I had to have a toast without any margarine or butter on. Now we just got to wait for the stir fry. Well, that's good. We're doing well. Only 10 minutes, 20 minutes left of my lunch break. Let's uh, put that on now. This is all about filling tummies and making use of what you've got. And this does the job. Gosh, that was loud. There we are. A great big steaming plateful. We're going to have a pudding tonight. It's Brown Betty, which is basically stale breadcrumbs, golden syrup, a little bit of milk or water, a little bit of lemon if you have some. I don't. A bit of cinnamon and a little bit of sugar. Just sprinkled on the top. Oh, and some dots of margarine. So that's going to go in the oven at 180 degrees centigrade for about 40 to 50 minutes. Looking forward to it. <laughs> yum 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 <laughs> yum 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 <laughs> oh i'm looking forward to this mm. this is so good <laughs> peter didn't have any custard but hey ho well i remembered my microphone <laughs> better late than ever eh Oh my gosh, I've got so much washing up to do as well. Right, I need to put the leftover porridge from this morning in this tub so I can enjoy it. So it's potato time. I'm going to chop these up into tiny little bits, steam them and turn them into potato cakes. 
I have got a big old chopping board here. <laughs> big old chopping board! There we are. We'll get through these. Chop them up tiny so they cook quicker. Save on fuel. And of course, in true World War II fashion, I rarely peel my potatoes. I'm just used to them like this. I've always done it that way anyway. I like a bit of mash with potato skins. <laughs> so no different for me. Well, I almost forgot to show you the recipe. I'm going to try and hold that nice and still so you can read it. I'm going to use the potato, the margarine. I might add a little bit of flour, obviously the salt and pepper. Cut into eight pieces, eight ounces of mashed potato. I don't know, I put about, yeah, I didn't weigh my potatoes actually, but uh, okay, I am going to enjoy that and I'm going to have that with cabbage. I'm sorry, I just don't have time to set up a tripod or anything like that. I mean, gosh, it's half past six now. By the time this is cooked and ready to sit down, it's going to be seven o'clock. And then I've got to do the video. So that will be 8.30 maybe, nine o'clock at night. And then I still have work to do. I'll be so tired. Oh my gosh, listen to me complaining. <laughs> um, yeah, right, so I'm going to steam cabbage. I'm really running low on supplies at the moment. Um, when I walk through town to work, I'm just going to, I get it crawled down like this. When I walk through town to work on a Thursday morning, there is a market, so I tend to pick up a bag of veg from there. Sometimes I order my food from Riverford and I really look forward to that as a nice organic box, which I've um, had periodically for several years now and really, really enjoy their, their products and their produce. Um, but obviously I have to be mindful and have to cut corners and save pennies too, like everybody else. So the market does come in handy as well. I've got the cabbage on and the potatoes. So we're going to have... I don't know whether I'm going to do potato cakes. Yes, I am. Irish potato cakes. I don't want to change my mind at this moment. Let's do it. Oh, um, yeah, let's make that a lot later before I sit down. I forgot that I've got a huge bowl full of washing that I need to wash up and put away. Oh, goodness me. Washing up. I figure I've got two minutes to do a bit of washing up before the potato is cooked. I have so much washing up to do. It's crazy. Crazy. Time to do some washing. We'll meet again. Don't know where, don't know when, but I know we'll meet again some sunny day. I don't even know the words. Keep shining through. Can't remember the words. Oh no. La 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 la. Some sunny day. Where that came from. And with that. I think the cabbage may be done. Oh, I got water.
electromophone. <laughs> there we are. I'm just mixing the mashed potato up with a couple of spoonfuls of plain flour. And I've added salt and pepper. And then I'm going to fry it in my pan. Okay, so the rubbish thing about making these and making the brown betty earlier is that I've literally used nearly all my margarine ration now. I've got like a smidgen of fat left for the rest of the week and I don't restock until Sunday. So that's going to be challenging. <laughs> Hell's bells. I even managed to bur burn the Irish potato cakes. I just absolutely feel exhausted. It's nearly seven o'clock. I've got so much washing up still to do. I've burnt my Irish potato cakes, but I will eat them. <laughs> but um, yeah. Yeah, I think that's me done for the day. Yeah, I am not gonna be eating anything else tonight. I will try and eat my potato cakes, but to be honest, I'm not even that hungry. We'll see, but I'll, I'll put the video together tonight and I will put the calorific value of what I've eaten today and uh, add it up. And you can see what I've eaten, how many calories it's been. And um, yeah, <laughs> all right then. Thank you for joining me. Once again, it's another Vlogtober done and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you.